Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today. So today I am going to make my southern styled baked macaroni and cheese. It's cheesy, creamy, a little bit buttery, and it's absolutely delicious. So if you want to watch me make it, please stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm going to get started. And this is going to be a small serving, but you can adjust the amounts if you want to make a bigger tray of macaroni. This is just elbow macaroni. I'm going to be using that. This is the small elbow macaroni. This is some cheddar cheese. This is not sharp. I'm using a milder blend of cheese for this recipe. And I usually use just regular cheddar cheese. I don't use sharp or extra sharp. This is the mozzarella. I'm going to be using a little bit of that. Um, this is about a cup. And this is just a little under a cup. We don't need a lot of this. I'm going to be using some half and half going to be using that. This is what we're going to be using to make our cheese sauce. This is two cups of cheddar cheese right here. I'm going to be using these two items in the measuring cup. I'm going to make that fabulous cheese sauce that I like to make when I make the baked macaroni and cheese. I'm going to be using a little, I can't believe it's not butter. I like this one because it's very creamy tasting. It has a slight sweetness to it. Not, It's not sweet. It doesn't make the dish sweet, but it's just a beautiful alternative to butter. Um, if you want to use butter you can. I'm not going to. I'm going to use this. Usually this recipe, I won't say usually, sometimes this recipe calls for an egg. I won't be using that today. You don't have to use egg with this recipe. So that's it for the ingredients. Of course I got my serving bowl right here in the back from my cousin Diane. She gave me her whole collection of Corningware, bakeware. I'm so glad to have it. I love using it. I'm going to be baking the macaroni and cheese in that. Um, I I will be using a nonstick cooking spray. I'll show you that as I go along. And of course, of course, I'm going to be using a mixing spoon to make the cheese sauce. So right now on the stove, I have the water boiling for the pasta. So I'm going to go show you how I make the cheese sauce for the baked macaroni and cheese. Okay, so right now I have my oven on. It's heating at 350 degrees. That's the temperature you want to cook your baked macaroni and cheese. And I'm going to get started now with the sauce. First, I'm going to heat up two cups of half and half. You can use heavy cream. You can use regular milk if you like. You can use evaporated milk or canned milk. Um, you can use any milk that you like. I think you should avoid low fat milk because it's not going to have enough of the milk fat to keep the dish creamy. So right now I'm just going to let this get hot and I'm going to stir. stir. This is a dish that must be stirred. This part of your recipe, your cream sauce, you have to make sure that you stay in the kitchen just to keep stirring it so that it can remain creamy and smooth. Okay guys, so this Half and half is nice and hot. Let it heat for about four to five minutes on a very, very low flame. You don't want to burn the milk or scorch it. You just want it to get nice and hot. So right now I'm going to add two cups of cheddar cheese. I'm going to add a little at a time because I want it to melt slowly. I don't want it to melt with um, a lot of cheese in the pot. So I'm going to continue stirring until we see the cheese dissolve. Well, until we see the half and half start to change oh, just color just a little bit. So now it's good to keep adding more cheese until it's all in the pot. And you want to keep stirring. Don't uh, let anything stick to your pot. Don't let your cream start to stick or your cheese. You just got you have to keep stirring this cheese sauce so it can come out really just nice and cheesy and not burnt and make sure you keep your flame on very low. So right now while the cheese is melting in the half and half, I'm going to add the pasta to the boiling water. And as you can see how it's coming along, it's melting very nicely. All this cheese is going to be dissolved into the cream. It'll all be one texture. All right, this is what it looks like. It's almost ready. I would continue stirring this maybe for about another uh, three minutes 
just to let you all know that this is the same type of cheese sauce that you can use on your baked potatoes but you have to get it nice and creamy nice and smooth you can also use it on your broccoli if you if you blanch some broccoli you can use this cheese sauce also on your broccoli and other dishes that you would like to add cheese a cheese sauce to so this is coming out really really nicely and our pasta is almost done and then I'm going to show you after you make your cheese sauce which in my opinion is where you put in most of your work I'm going to show you how easy it is beyond this okay guys so I've drained my pasta and right now I'm going to just take this stick of I can't believe it's not but butter it's, this is really margarine I'm going to use maybe like a quarter of this stick just to blend in the macaroni so I would say I'm going to use about that much in the macaroni and just want to give the macaroni a little extra flavor so it's just going to give the macaroni just a little bit of extra buttery flavor not a lot and as you can see again this is a small serving I'm making and honestly I think I probably made too much of the cheese sauce but that's okay it does keep very well and again like I said you can use it on baked potatoes you can use it on french fries if you like you can drizzle a little bit of it on your vegetables like your broccoli and your string beans if you wanted to it's really good on vegetables that cheese sauce so I'm just going to continue blending this butter in or this margarine in until it's all melted so right now I'm going to take some of our cheese sauce and I'm going to put it in the macaroni not a lot maybe like half put this in the dish and I'm going to bake this between 20 and 35 minutes okay guys so I've got the macaroni and cheese in the dish I did lightly spray my dish with the Wilton Easy Bake. You can use this for baking cakes and cupcakes and you can also use it for baking your food. I'm going to place it nicely so you have a nice presentation when it's done. So very quickly I'm going to put a little bit of the mozzarella cheese on top. I'm going to be using a little bit more of the cheddar cheese. Put that on top. Also to give it a little punch of flavor, I'm going to be adding some Parmesan. This is the freshly sh um, shredded cheese. I'm going to be using this. I have a little bit left. I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit on top. give it that three cheese flavor you can omit this part of the cheese if you want or you can add different cheeses sometimes I use um, a spicy jack cheese to top it with Okay guys, here it is. This is the finished product. It looks absolutely delicious. And guys, this recipe again, like I said, this is really hot. <laughs> this was really, really easy to make. You saw me make it. 
it's very quick it's tasty yeah let me just go inside and let's just see what that looks like it's nice and crusty on the top just the way we like it you can get it a little bit more brown if you want it that's always up to you but this is what it looks like nice and cheesy buttery southern style baked macaroni and cheese so I'm going to take and put just a little bit in this dish I wish they had taste of vision so that you could actually taste this baked macaroni and cheese it's so cheesy guys look at that and that's just the mozzarella cheese that I put on top alright bon appetit guys Thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate it. If you have any questions about this baked macaroni and cheese dish, just leave it in the comment section below and I'd be very happy to get back to you as soon as I can. And um, if you like this dish, please thumbs up and please subscribe. I really would appreciate it. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Take care now. Bye-bye.